daytime on the beach. Look at them, enjoying their novelties and their relative safety. Yeah, sure, I could be one of them. I could enjoy relative safety too, but I'm not. I'm me. They say nothing is more dangerous than a tiger shark. They call them the people killers, leg eaters, the terror of the open water. I call them surfing buddies. Yeah! <laughs> I thought it was a cool announcement trailer. Yeah, it was something all right. But that wasn't a tiger shark. That was a great white. Yeah, I changed it to a tiger shark in the script. Everyone uses great whites. We need to stand out. Well, I'm not changing my art. You fix your script, Kevin. Tiger sharks aren't even as dangerous as great whites. Oh, you can train them to run contraband, though. Wait, really, Joan? And look, it's still a shark. That's the important thing. All right, circle up, everyone. As you all know, we announced Surfing with Sharks today. Reception has been wonderful. The internet loves it. That's totally not true, but it's good for morale to tell you that. Now, I know it's been a rough few weeks for you all. We faced hard deadlines, crashing builds, technical downtime. And Javier exploded too. Don't forget about Javier. His desk has been covered in blood all week. Look, I'm sure he's fine. Also, this meeting isn't about Javier. That's actually what I wanted to talk to you all about. Javier. Huh? Yeah, a week is a long time without an animator, so... I'm happy to introduce to you all Midge, our new animator. So, Javier's not coming back. Explosions will do that. That bastard still owes me ten bucks. Okay, look, everyone, it's company policy not to talk about Javier anymore. Midge is the new Javier. Everyone say hello. Hi, Midge. Hi, uh, I thought this was for an interview. This is Shovelworks Studios, right? Midge here comes highly recommended. Anything Javier could do, <laughs> I'm sure she could handle. Just make her feel welcomed. Any questions? Yeah, what do we do about all the people outside? People? What people? I don't know. A crowd of people just showed up a few minutes ago. God damn it, why does this always happen to us? Well, don't make eye contact and maybe they'll go away, I don't know. Kevin, you deal with it. And make sure Midge is all set up. Back to work, everyone. Well, I guess it's been a few months. I wonder what they want this time. Last time, it was because our game didn't have a sewer level. Uh, yeah, I'm not changing my mind on that one. Not every game needs a sewer level. <sighs> guess I'll see how good the noise canceling is on my headphones. All right. Well, Midge, uh, I'm not sure what Jeb wants me to do with you. <laughs> I'm not even on the art team. Just so you know, I wasn't kidding. I was told by the recruiter that this was literally supposed to be an interview. Well, we work quick. Some might say rush. Pylon, any ideas on how to handle the fans outside? Uh, bribery? Mm, can't afford that. They sure don't look like fans out there. <laughs> I mean, they wouldn't keep coming by every few months if they weren't passionate about our games. Look, Midge, why don't you, uh, go meet your coworkers while Pylon and I brainstorm? You'll probably be working a lot with Viper, so be sure to say hello to him. Oh, uh, all right? Quite a crowd. I wonder if this happens often to them. The store looks like it just goes to a supply closet. Hi, Midge. Welcome to the studio. First, don't listen to anything Kevin tells you. He's a lying, heartless bastard. Second, we don't have the budget for a new computer, so you'll have to use Javier's station. I guess that makes sense. It's still covered in blood, but you can worry about that later. Oh, all right. Hi, I'm Ben. Uh, look, no offense, uh, Midge, was it? I'm trying to get some stuff done. Yeah, we keep our foam dart guns in there. 
This looks like the audio room. They may be recording in there. There's a note here. Warning, Sally is feisty today. Huh, I wonder which one Sally is. Whoa, this thing needs to be cleaned. Hey, cool. A MIT-32C graphing gaming device. Been years since I saw one of these. of Hugbot cereal expired three years ago. Chuck from Sweaty Blood has a lot of enemies, but Baron Von Browblood is his arch nemesis. Okay, this guy didn't really explode. Did he? Didn't that actually happen? Good morning, New England. Welcome to the Dice Bag, bringing you film, game, and culture news non-stop at least until this hi i'm joan i've been working in the industry since the 90s but i've only been here a few years i'm midge i've apparently been working here for 10 minutes i really thought it would be harder to get this job oh dear no you haven't read much about our studio have you not really no well you'll learn we have a bit of a reputation oh okay Hey, you hear that Shovelwork Studios is making another game? Oh god, not again. Is this another turnstile jumper game? Nah, I don't think so. No one wants your crappy turnstile jumper game. This looks like a map of the studio. That's handy. with all those bottles up there. Be that green guy's desk seems to really like pale yellow green. Three out of ten. Huh. I wonder what this meter is for.
big design ideas. An end? Huh. Huh. I've never seen a game studio with a dumbwaiter. Guess they really don't want anyone going through this door. This cabinet is locked. I probably shouldn't rummage around through these. At least not on my first day. Look, I can't promise I'll remember your name, but that's okay. I've got a lot of thinking going on up here about boss things. Why don't you go say hi to some of your teammates? Come back once you've said hello to a few people. My name's Pylon. Did you know that the latest build is always hooked up to the TV? You could try it out any time. Hi there, are you one of the developers here? No, I'm Timothy 3000, Automated Office Assistant. I'm here to help you with all your needs. I'm Viper. You can call me Viper. I'm the best there is at what I do, and I don't suffer incompetent fools. Are you incompetent? Hi, Viper. I'm Midge, and no, I don't think so. I'll be the judge of that. Look, if you're gonna fill in Javier's shoes in animating my masterpieces, then you need to prove to me you know what you're doing, okay? A good pose is crucial to properly showing off my work. I have a lot of action figures, mostly from my favorite game, Sweaty Blood. Show me you know how to make badass poses by posing them. This is Bloody Chuck. Look at all that detail. That's how you know it's a good design, okay? Bloody Chuck is the sturdy hero of the game. He keeps his pouches shut with Phillips head screws. Huh, <laughs> sweet. He keeps books in all those pouches. He's a scholar warrior. That's important in season four. Hey, anatomy isn't important in character art. Looking cool is important. Look at me. Free tip, articulation is very important in character art. Well, I guess you'll improve. Not many animators can keep up with me, so I shouldn't have been surprised. This is Bloody Chuck. Look at all that detail. That's how you know it's a good design, okay? Bloody Chuck is the sturdy hero of the game. He keeps his pouches shut with Phillips head screws. Huh, <laughs> sweet. He keeps books in all those pouches. He's a scholar warrior. That's important in season four.
Anatomy isn't important in character art. Looking cool is important. Look at me. Free tip, articulation is very important in character art. Well, I guess you'll improve. Not many animators can keep up with me, so I shouldn't have been surprised. This is bloody Chuck. Look at all that detail. That's how you know it's a good design, okay? Bloody Chuck is the sturdy hero of the game. He keeps his pouches shut with Phillips head screws. Huh, sweet. He keeps books in all those pouches. He's a scholar warrior. That's important in season four. Hey, anatomy isn't important in character art. Looking cool is important. Look at me. Free tip. Articulation is very important in character art. Well, I guess you'll improve. Not many animators can keep up with me, so I shouldn't have been surprised. This is bloody Chuck. Look at all that detail. That's how you know it's a good design, okay? Bloody Chuck is the sturdy hero of the game. He keeps his pouches shut with Phillips head screws. Huh, sweet. He keeps books in all those pouches. He's a scholar warrior. That's important in season four. Hey, anatomy isn't important in character art. Looking cool is important. Look at me. Free tip, articulation is very important in character art. Well, I guess you'll improve. Not many animators can keep up with me, so I shouldn't have been surprised. This is bloody Chuck. Look at all that detail. That's how you know it's a good design, okay? Bloody Chuck is the sturdy hero of the game. He keeps his pouches shut with Phillips head screws. Huh, sweet. He keeps books in all those pouches. He's a scholar warrior. That's important in season four. Hey, anatomy isn't important in character art. Looking cool is important. Look at me.
free tip. Articulation is very important in character art. Well, I guess you'll improve. Not many animators can keep up with me, so I shouldn't have been surprised. This is bloody Chuck. Look at all that detail. That's how you know it's a good design, okay? Bloody Chuck is the sturdy hero of the game. He keeps his pouches shut with Phillips head screws. Huh, sweet. He keeps books in all those pouches. He's a scholar warrior. That's important in season four. Hey, anatomy isn't important in character art. Looking cool is important. Look at me. Free tip, articulation is very important in character art. I'm back. So, can we talk about the last animator? Oh, Javier? Uh, right. So, should I be worried about what happened to him? Oh, no. Spontaneous combustion just happens sometimes. Animators just do that, you know? It's the stress. Can I have his chair? What? No. That's going to be Midge's chair. I don't think people just explode. There's no time for dwelling on the past. We need to think of a way to deal with those people outside. Why should she get the good chair? I've been here much longer. Can't you just go talk to them? <laughs> Talking never solves anything. Oh, maybe we can camouflage the studio. Or hire a velociraptor. Look, I'm just gonna go ask them what they want. Wow, this is a big crowd. Where did you all come from? Oh, a developer. This is the New England chapter of the Global Internet Fandom Coalition. This is what we do. We're a mobile fan club. Really? Shovelwork Studios has their own fan club. Of course not. We're a generic group. We go where we're needed. Today was slow, and Linda loves sharks. It's true! So you're fans of... sharks? Yes, absolutely. At least today. Did you really think you could pass off a great white as a tiger shark? Great whites have pointy heads! I mean, seriously, has the game industry lost all reason? Hey, everyone! What do we want? Yes! Fix the shark! Oh, wanna buy a t-shirt? It's 100% cotton. Um, no, not really. <laughs> You're a loss. Look, you think you can get away with everything. Well, you got a choice. Either fix that shark, or cancel the game. <laughs> cancel the game? We can't do that. It's just starting to come together. Maybe you could just fix the shark. No, it must be a tiger shark. Tigers are cool. Yeah, canceling things would totally compromise our vision. Pylon! Hey! What? They're right. It's a great white, not a tiger shark. And it's a cool shirt. Okay, so tell me about this game. Ah, you're intrigued. Excellent. You know your Endless Runner games, right? Those mobile titles where you always race to the right and tap to jump over things and, and try and last as long as you can? Yeah, so it's like that. It's an Endless Runner, but the twist is... Wait for it. There's an end. That's it? You're making an endless runner with an end? I call it an endful runner. Or maybe just endy runner? Well, whatever. The community is ultimately who decides a new subgenre's name. We just have to make the game no one realized they wanted. I love making games no one wants. So, yeah, I'm not so sure I'm the best fit for this place. It seems a bit 
intense. Oh, you'll get used to it. Everyone here is great. With the exception of Viper. And all of the engineers. And the boss. And the tiger shark. And the occasional spontaneous combustion of animators. But otherwise, it's great. Also, look, we need you, Midge. This game, this is gonna be a hit. But only if we have a good animator. That's why Javier was so important. What's in the fridge? Free soda. Guys, they're getting restless out there. I don't think they're gonna leave on their own this time. Right. How do you calm down a crowd of fans? Well, everyone gets angry when they're hungry. Could we try feeding them? There's granola in the kitchenette, but that's not gonna go very far. I have a lot of ketchup. We can make ketchup granola stew. Seriously? That's revolting. Not if you add salsa. Salsa will give it body. Okay, okay. Granola, ketchup, and salsa. Does anyone know how to cook? Oh, I do. Does anyone except for Pylon know how to cook? I can do it, team. I can do it. Okay, look. Why don't both of you handle this? What? Uh, okay. 